What is going on guys, it's Youngling Jr. So a little bit more information about Salvador Ramos, the individual here that decided to go ahead and kill um, innocent kids at an elementary school in Yovaldi um, Elementary. So he was actually not bullied. You know, according to his peers, stating that he was always a weird person, he put himself in isolation. And it was a, a, a you notice that it was a trend with these mass shooters that you know, they always in isolation. They don't really have anyone to talk to. And they just have these devilish thoughts coming into their mind. And with this individual here is that, you know, he shot his grandmother in the face because it comes to find out that he was confronted by his grandmother because he was not on track to graduate from high school. So I believe he, he didn't have enough credits. Uh, he wasn't really active in school. So this guy is not a victim. His children was a victim. And the, um, the teachers and uh, the staff members were victims. This man, he used to bully people, and it was individual, you know, I was on News Nation, I actually subscribed to him, they have great content, talking about various things at the local news and international level, but with this man, he, he used to bully people, and then when people actually stood up to him, he used to get frustrated and be angry, because now he couldn't really for, fulfill what he wanted to do, and so he was actually obsessed I'm not blaming video games here, but according to the news, he was obsessed with, you know, Call of Duty all day, just playing that all day. And, um, you know, he used to have come to um, school with marks on his face and people used to question that, like, dang, you used to be abused? Like, what's going on? Why you have all these marks on your face, like, almost every single day? And he used to smile and just think it like it was a badge of honor. So you can see, like, this kid had a lot of mental issues and mental um and abilities man he had a mental illness and this is why i really praise beto o'roke and people may think like okay well beto o'roke is just a individual that don't know what he's talking about he's just a political ploy he's trying to go ahead and make governor uh greg abbott look bad but no man i mean at the end of the day while these mass shootings man uh what really hit home to him was the he's from el paso texas and i remember some mass shooting like over 23 casualties so i mean you're just making it very easier he's just passing a bill from the legislator from texas making it easier for people just to uh, obtain guns without any type of background check or any extensive background checks you know hey you can just walk in and have a gun i mean it is what it is and any assault rifles but you're going to have a meeting with these nra conventions and not do anything about it so you do the same thing it's the same plot over and over again so it was built up frustration so i see the passion where he was coming from but with this man here i just want to go ahead and make this video that he is not the victim and i knew he was going to get many videos talking about this uh, as they uncovering about his um, background and the crazy part is too when greg abbott and when he was on that press conference at the ad here is that he was posting this prior you know before he decided to go ahead and kill his uh these students at the school that he posted on his facebook like hey you know um you know kids be scared you know i'm gonna I'm go to the school and my thing is is that with these tech companies these ceos and tech companies you guys are quick to shut down channels you guys are quick to you know dox people i don't say dox but flag and take people's channels away if they speak up for any type of political issue but when someone has insinuating violence it's like you guys don't take that serious i just wish that it would have been so type of act i understand that you know they don't want to violate people's freedom of speech but it's infringing upon others you get what i'm saying and you know you and even you were joking you have to take that serious because nowadays this generation these people got a different mindset they say hey i'm on the bomb something okay well take that serious you know at the end of the day man because that is not normal common sense would be like that's not normal i don't care if you're drunk or high why would i go ahead and just make a post on social media saying i'm going to kill some people at the school why right literally like come on now so it should have been a knock on this door literally so i think that they need to crack down i think a lot of tech companies need to crack down on that um, they should have banned this account immediately and then notified uh, law enforcement, seriously, because um, a lot of this stuff could have been avoided. But at the end of the day, man, um, I'm just really curious if the Democrats find a way to get into office during this midterm election, especially with the U.S. House of Representatives uh, representing each state. Uh, Beto O'Rourke successfully wins uh, the governor of Texas. I think he's going to uh, put some strict laws now and uh, bar as far as these weapons, uh, making it very difficult for people to gain these weapons. And have access to it because i mean at the end of the day man countless of kids are getting killed for no reason at all but i just want to sit up here and make this i feel like it was really appropriate because uh salvador ramos is not a bully i mean he is a bully he is not he is not the victim okay at the end of the day he was bullying others he was weird he was in isolation he chose to do that i remember when i was 18 i was going through a lot of stuff but i still 
uh, probably bully too in elementary school, middle school, but I, I went through it and I that never crossed my mind to go ahead, let me go ahead and kill people. Like, come on now. At the end of the day, he was the one who was the perpetrator. So I'm just going by from these the other people that the news nations interview, you know, from the newscasters. So uh, we just got to, you know, clear that notion up too. And then they said too, he used to like hurt animals. He had a potential doing that, killing animals. So, I mean, he, he was just a long gone kid. If you would have had earlier resources, man, I mean, uh, maybe a mentor, that probably would have helped out a lot. So I do believe in studying mental health and, you know, mentorship is extremely important, especially for the youth, man. Because a lot of these killings are are done by young men. It's it's crazy, man, in this country. But that's all we have to say, man. Whether you're black, white, green, blue, or yellow, justice is justice. At the end of the day, wrong is wrong. Like you cannot, you cannot simply just be painted as the victim here. But that's all we have to say. You guys, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Appreciate you guys, man. Until next time, I'm out. Deuces.